right, welcome, Shotzi, my fucking boy, my duo. What's up with it? Welcome back. We did this with AG. We got to do it with Shotzi. It's a little, you know, pre-champs interview, just shooting the shit, picking your brain a little bit. You guys are just champions. That must feel good. Of course. Um, Definitely. Took uh, took a long time. We got the job done. A couple seconds last year, Elisillo. Oh. Elisillo blender. That's whenever Sam threw that insane data, Brandon. Yeah. I mean, you guys were getting hoed on Elisillo. First question. Yeah. How much do you miss me? <laughs> I mean... Definitely the the vibes. I miss that, of course. I feel like uh, I feel like when you're competing, like a lot of people underestimate like just the enjoyment in competing, and that's one thing that like you brought. Like just no matter how annoying it was, like whether we're losing or stuff like that, you would, you know you're always. I mean, obviously you would like nerd nerd rage, but it was always like in a fun way. It wasn't like oh like I fucking hate this shit or like we're doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's one thing that I definitely miss. Uh, I like I would like blow up. I like towards the end of my career, I was like Damon, where I would like. I would I would like sit agree with like shit that like Ray was saying or or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But whenever I noticed something was really wrong, I I would like blow yeah, up. Yeah, you would be like, nah, like that's how Damon shit. was. Oh, that's how Damon was. Yeah, he would like just wait and just like let it <laughs> like then, pressure then, cook yeah, yeah. and then just pop. Yeah, I feel like that's definitely one thing I miss for sure. But uh, I mean, it seems like you're doing good, so that's all. Yeah, I mean, I said it with AG yesterday. It felt like it was like the perfect time for me to retire because like I retired obviously like. When I first retired, things were probably weird just because, like, obviously you're bringing in uh, new players. You guys ended up dropping Ender and picking up uh, Dan, which is probably a huge decision, especially for you, because Ender, like, Ender was our boy. And then shit just went, like, sour. Not, like, relationship-wise, yeah. but just, like, his injury. Um, but it was, like, the perfect time because, like, I retired. Brandon came back in. Kyler was fucking disgusting. And then you guys picked up Dan and it just kind of like all meshed. Yeah. And that's what I was worried about because I didn't want to leave you guys in a bad spot. Um, and I felt like you guys like just picked up. Like, no, we picked up literally the right piece. The perfect piece the perfect that you guys piece. needed. Now that's crazy because I remember looking back at it and like the scrims that we had like before all that happened, like I could just tell. Like you're, you're this like, was like full. <laughs> Dude, I, you, got, I had to, you guys switched me to a flex. And then on top of that, I had to switch to a trophy. And I was actually looking nice with the trophy. No, that was probably your best role. Like, looking back at it, like, it was probably, like, I mean, you were probably uncomfortable, but, like, for whatever reason, it actually, like, suited you. Yeah, I was very uncomfortable. I didn't know what was going on. You're totally fucking you and Kyler were just running it down, and I was, like, mid-year trying to change my role. I was, like, I was tweaking, but. No, nah, it's funny looking back just because, like, yeah, that whole thing happened, and then, like. I just remember the scrims in the moment, like, dude, they were so bad. I don't know. Sure. Do you remember the scrims that we had? I didn't think they were that bad. No, dude, there was one day it was horrendous. I think that was your last. Actually, was it your last scrim? I can't remember. Because there was like. It was bad? That was the, first, dude, that was was, the breaking point? It was point? literally the, the worst like scrims that I, pro I probably like ever had. Just because like you could tell like the. No, no one knew besides me. And like since I knew and like. Oh, I, yeah. I had to keep it like low key. I was like, oh, shit. Like I already know what's coming. Yeah. So like I talked to when, when we were like going through to retirement, I was talking to you, Ray, and then obviously like. AG, because like we were probably we were the closest on the team. I don't think it was close. And then Ray was like, like Ray was like super close with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh so I kept all them in the loop. And then AG, whenever we were like thinking about getting AG, I was like, I have to tell him. No, yeah, no. Because he's about to make a major team decision based off of me. Like low key, it's like if I don't tell him, like I'm sure he still would have wanted to come over, but no, yeah, I probably like, I'm pretty sure he would have. Just because, like, I mean, they just, I'm pretty sure they just got second, right? Or something like that. But I'm almost positive, like, he still would have just because, like. If they wouldn't have just got second, <clears throat> it would have been so much smoother. Because yeah. they're like, oh, they're now they're... they have hope. It's, it's like funny because, they... like, the same scenario happened, like, in Cold War. We wanted to get Clay for uh, for Kyler, I think, and then switch in there on the sub rule. But they just got second or first, maybe, or something like that. And then there's the and then Yeah, and then, like, you're like, oh, never mind. I'm just going to stick with this team, so. Yeah. But yeah. I miss you, man. Yeah. To long, so we just fucking riffed on that for a while. I miss you, man. It was yeah, we had we had a good time. No, we actually did. Yeah. We, at least we wanted that. That's one thing. We that got was, one, and I, then it all went to shit. But we got one. Uh, it was our first one. See that? That's like so. When I think about like that, just time period for optic, it just it it honestly hurts me because, dude, we were so fucking good, and then that happened. No, it literally. was like. It felt like that team, we didn't even get like a real chance. No, we actually didn't get a chance. We had one major. That, we like, won our first one, major. and then that was it. And then the rest of the year was just fucked. Yeah. And then like we tried to run it back the next year, and it was still fucked. It was like, it no, just, it was, 
It sucked. But it was a good time. Like, it, it, just looking back on what could have been, it sucks for me. Because, like, that's the end of my career, you know? Like, that, that's it. That's, oh, like, yeah. that's like what I remember going out <laughs> on. So it's like, it fucking sucks. Oh, yeah. All right, so obviously you guys go into Toronto. Uh, you guys got third, second, looking for that first place. Uh, you said that your practice was the reason why you won that event. What changed about the practice, like, routine going into that event? Was there anything different, or was it just, like, just explain to me how yeah. things went down. No, yeah, so going up to, uh, like, first major, obviously, practice is, like, somewhat, you know, just trying to get better, trying to, like, figure out your map pool, essentially. Like, that's, like, the first major. And I feel like, I forgot what maps we were good at, but I think we had, like, a solid three. And, I th oh, yeah, we hated high res. Just because, like, we tried it out, and then, like, the propane kept killing me. Uh, and we just lost it every single time against anyone we played. And so, why? Like, I think it was the very first search y'all played of the year. Y'all y'all went, like, round 11. I forget what. Yeah, I, forget. No, I feel yeah. like some crazy shit happened. No, yeah. I, I remember dying to the propane. I literally was, like, behind the AC unit. I threw, uh, AG threw a nade at the propane. It somehow killed him. And anyways, yeah, we chalked that map major one. So then, uh, yeah, that was, like, our map pool going into there. And then uh, major two... I'm pretty sure we did the same thing. We're like, yeah, we hate high res. Like, we can't do it. So then, like, we played grand finals against FaZe. So, uh, like, it was Rio, the map, the very map that we lost on. You, you want, just sorry to cut you off. You know what I realized? It's always map six. What? Like, when you guys are oh. in the finals, map six is always, like, that, yeah. that map. But, like, dude, Even it was Hello Silo yeah. in MW2. No, yeah, literally. And then it was fucking Rio Search. Yeah. Yeah, so real search. So even if we won that, like going into the the next map, which is like high rise control, we're like, yo, like this shit's fucked. Like we already lost this shit. We might as well fucking, you know. Really? It was like that, dude. Because dude, dude, going into like any scrims, anyone we played against, it, it, something about the map was just like it was so bad. So like, for example, like going into that map, there was no like building off of anything. It was like, yo, we don't know what the fuck we're doing. Just on this hope map. like kills yeah. fall and like yeah. you get a clean exactly. four and stack. Like, we we, we even like watch people's vods and like we couldn't really figure out like we'd copy their stuff and it wouldn't work to like our team camp for whatever reason so like going into major three that was the only map that we focused on because that was the only map that like we needed to prioritize in our map pool because they added vista they added six star we're amazing at both of those maps and then crotchy and uh what's the other map crotchy for and, hp yeah six star vista karachi sub base you know, yeah sub base we're obviously like fine about that so the only thing we need to focus on was high res and that's like literally what we did so every time we scrimmed we had to make sure like we were building off of like Anything high rise related, so we won a, on a thirteen and zero streak or something like that. We're like, yo, high and scrims, yeah. So we're like, high rise are shit, right? So then, like, we, we finally got good at high rise control, and then search was on a different end. So that's when I started just playing a lot of S and eights because I realized that like the the, the best way I, I'm I'm not sure if you could correlate to this, but whenever you're playing search from like a scrim to a match, it's completely different. Oh yeah, and scrim, you're like you're trying stuff out and like you're getting more aggressive. Rather than a match, like it's like so much slower pace. I mean, people will just run it down. Like nah, exactly. people won't even throw tax and just bang a site. Nah, people just bang. Like, like, you can't even get shit. anything off that. So like, I played S and D more to get like timings down, just like little nerd stuff. And then from there, that's when like we started playing search a lot in major three qualifiers. And then from there, I mean, the tournament. I'm pretty sure we played S and D. Uh, well, you guys Harris. went. You guys went game five New York. And then game five against FaZe. It and was then, all invasion. You guys kept winning yeah, game yeah. five invasion. And then game two, we won. The and then game two in the final against and Toronto. Was, I thought it was invasion map two. You guys just kept banging invasion Yeah, yeah but no, no, at FaZe. FaZe, we played uh, game two high res. Yeah. We beat them like 6-4, something like that. Or 6-2, something like that. But yeah, I mean, that's one thing that made us win major three. Literally high res. And that's why I say the practice, because like, the practice leading up to the major was literally just high rise and then obviously like building off our game plan on every other map. Every other map, I mean, we're, we're obviously really good yeah, at Yeah, so. you guys are gross at I mean, you guys have a deep map pool now. I feel like the six star and Vista edition like no, really no. helped you guys because like, I mean, invasion and I mean, invasion and skid row HP, like skid row, you just get P2. Dude, it was so like, bad. that map, like, there's. Would just, you agree that the hill would have been better like on the, on on the, the bottom? bottom? Yeah. Like, right? Been saying that. Because like it, before, it was like you could have one person watching tunnel, one person watching garage, one person watching right, and then whatever lane falls, the guy top just picks no, up exactly. that lane. It's like, and then he, and he's in a god spot. More often than not, he would one v two. Yeah, it, worst case. So, yeah, but yeah, practice is everything. I mean, you know it too. Like as a competitor, competitor, like you like going into a major, feeling like everything feels good. Every map, like it feels comfortable. You yeah. know exactly what your teammates are gonna do. You never want to go to the major saying like, oh shit, like in the back of your head, like, yo, our practice this month 
past two months have been like slacky. Like, yeah. And then you sometimes don't know what could happen this major. And then sometimes you'll go to the major, you'll suck at a map, you'll play it on land and be like, yo, like, yeah. wait, we just had a good rep on that. Should yeah. we throw this in? Dude, that happened so much. That happened to us on Rio, actually. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I forgot about that map, actually. We didn't, did I say Rio? Uh, no, just, just high rise. But yeah, Brandon was telling me about like Rio and how you guys got just like randomly godlike at it. And then yeah. you guys threw it in and you guys just. Once you catch that like confidence, <laughs> you just throw it in. Nah, and yeah, literally. That's so funny looking back at it. Cause that was another thing. Like Rio, like we were, we were I mean, we we're good at it. But it was more of like, we just weren't consistent. So like yeah. we didn't add that into like our map of choice. So then like, yeah, we played scrims on it. We didn't lose it for like quite a while. And uh, yeah. And then we played it in the major against Toronto, slammed them. And then I think that's the only time we played it. Actually, no, we played against New York as well. Yeah, they were not killing you. And all. also, yeah. So. Obviously, champs, it's the most coveted event in COD. Everyone wants to win champs. Why do you, like, think that? Why do you think there's so much weight and pressure on champs as an event in Call of Duty? Uh, I'd say the ring and then, obviously, the money. <laughs> the money? Yeah, I'd say the money. I mean, for me, it's the fucking money. I mean, I... I you want the ring? You want the money? Yeah, I want the money. <laughs> Yo, <'cause> like <laughs> this guy, Shotzi, he's about his fucking well, not because paper. Not, well... I don't know. I'm not like a materialistic guy. Like I feel like I could just like for all my accolades. You can't say that after you just said you want the money. What do you mean? You literally can't say no, no, no. I'm not a materialistic no, 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 no. guy. The money for investment purposes. Not not for like. That's what I'm fucking seeing. That's my boy right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not for like oh buying the car or anything like yeah. that. Yeah. Just to like put it a nest egg. Just yeah. to have that like security because yeah. you never know. You know exactly. You never so, know exactly. That that's the main reason I want it. So like. Yeah, because other people, they probably think like, oh, he wants to buy some crazy shit. No, nah, yeah. I wanted to set myself for the future. Anyways, I don't know. I'm not, I don't like, for example, all my accolades that I've had, like my MVP in uh, Modern Warfare and all the other stuff that I've had, like, I, dude, I don't even know where the trophies are at. <laughs> Those trophies are somewhere in the show. I don't even look at them. So like, yeah, that's, that's for me personally, it's just the money. Like, and then obviously like the buildup, it's the last event, you know, people, this is what they've been practicing for. So... Do you look at champs as like just another event? It's for just me bigger. personally, yeah. It's just, just bigger? a bigger atmosphere for sure. And then like it's just what we've been working for. Obviously. See, that's how so. that's how I always like to look at it. Cause like when you go into it, if you put it on such a high pedestal, that's what makes you like go in and tweak. Like, like, yo, we're at champs. We have to perform. So like I'd always like try to stay as level headed as possible and just think about it like it's another event. Yeah, there's more on the line, but like it's another event, go in with the same mindset and just hope shit falls your way. No, I mean, yeah, that's like, that's, that's just how it happens. is. Um, obviously you like practice going into it. You obviously ramp up practice a bit and all that good stuff. But yeah, I just always try to like, think about it. Like don't put too much pressure on yourself because no, sure. then you tweak. No, exactly. Cause like, that's the last thing you want at, a, at the biggest event, just overthinking and like yeah. making every best play possible. Just live the moment and just do what you think is the best. Just fucking get after it. That's yeah. all. Get after it. Obviously the intensity is higher. Oh, for sure. I'm definitely going to be throwing that event. But yeah. Yeah. That's what I would say. The money for show. <laughs> Do you think that you're a superstar? <laughs> and if if not, or if so, why? So, superstar, so all-star superstar, I don't know what the fuck, like, the, the definition of that shit is. I just know that I am in, at least when I'm on the map, I'm definitely, like, the most impactful player, regardless of, like, I mean, maybe if I'm getting shit on the entire map, obviously, that's probably a different story, but... I personally think that I'm the most impactful just based on like the the way that I think about how the game goes and yeah, I mean, yeah, that's kind of no. Just, you definitely are like whenever see that's like I always try to go to bat for you and it's like say you go neg nine whatever you have a bad map uh, like in an HP but like you look at the mini you're the one you're taking deep routes no. you'll fucking dive in first without <laughs> even shooting your gun trying to pull aim assist off people like the shit you do on the map is very. It's like invaluable. It's like yeah, you yeah. can't you can't track that on a on a leaderboard. Like other teams recognize it, just the people that like don't really understand Call of Duty like that. Yeah, they would just look at stats and be like, oh, you know, what is he doing? Or he just got shit on. And that's the thing. That's the good thing about me is that I don't really care about what people say. I always stick to my game. Yeah, just because I want to win. So, yeah, I feel like everyone knows that already. So yeah, I mean that's, and I feel like that's what separates you is that like selfless play style where like you'll go in first in a search and you'll try to like make that play it's not always going to fall your way like sometimes you'll get blooded but like you'll do that shit and like a lot of players don't 
like do that. Like they'll no, yeah, there's yeah. And it, obviously like there's there's a, a balance to it. You don't just want to go and get yeah, blown. You don't just want to fly yeah. No, but you, like, there's there's definitely a balance for sure. But I feel like you have that like break. Like you know like yo, I've gotten blooded twice in a row going broken or some shit. It's like <laughs> I can't go broken again. Like I'm trolling. That's funny they say that, just because like I do be thinking like there's two times where I get blooded and I'm like fucking a like I low key want to go, but like I don't want to get blooded. I can't get blooded again. Yeah, so I just got blooded twice. <laughs> <laughs> but then you said it the third time, then they don't watch it. Yeah, exactly. Then, you're, then, then you get a two. And that's what that's the thing about me. Like you don't know what the fuck I'm doing sometimes. So yeah, it either works or it doesn't. But that's one thing you just live by. I so. will say, I mean. Gla- I mean, I'll glaze but like you are probably in every series like obviously there's gonna be series where someone's more impactful but like i would say consistently just the way you play the game like you're always up there with the most impactful in the lobby yeah. like you might not drop the most damage might not like but you the, the plays you make i mean people don't see that besides like the people that know the game yeah, exactly. and the pros and that's why I, I just hate to ask you that question because you're, <laughs> I mean, you're, no, it's, you're it's, fucking it's, it's just funny just because, like, obviously it's, like, a Pat thing. Yeah. And it's just funny because, like, the COD community just, like, feeds off it. They ran with it, yeah. And, yeah, they just ran and with it. now it's just a bit. Yeah. Now exactly. it's, like, now it's just people <laughs> – now they just do it to, like, piss people off because no, exactly. it does piss people off. No, it's so funny because, like, dude, it's – I've never been, like – I've never said, like, a, a thing or, like, a – I don't know how to explain it. For example, like, when Scrap called me, like, a, like a TikTok, oh, he's just doing a TikTok – like now people look at it, uh, that like because there's times I make it like a search play and like I'm actually just doing a play that I think is good and they're like oh he just did a fucking TikTok, TikTok shit scene? yeah and people just run away with it. I but. mean, scraps some more on you. Oh no, yeah, scraps. Like I was fucking, saying, he, he's 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 a meathead. <laughs> <laughs> After major one last year, uh, obviously didn't go well, very bad. Uh, that's whenever I, you remember I was tweaking. I was like, nobody's watching my fucking edges. <laughs> I get backstage. I see that was like one of those nerd rage moments where I just. Yeah. But so after oh, that, God. after that event, you wanted to move on from Brandon. Yeah. As a teammate. Yeah. Since that point, obviously, you know things things go sour for a little bit there. Um, I end up retiring. Brandon comes back in. How has Brandon evolved as a teammate since that point? Because I feel like I mean teaming with Brandon, I've known him. Through like the peaks, valleys, everything. I've been teaming him for a while. Um, like, how did you, from your perspective, how did he mature? Because he definitely did. It's like, no, yeah, for sure. I feel like when when I first started team with Brandon, it was in Vanguard, and that was definitely like the the most like we had a good year. I, well, up until obviously Ender's like thumb or whatever. So like, we chalked that year for for the most part. I mean, during that year, the only thing I could really remember was just like. I don't know, just like the whole late thing, right? The, I, I feel like I cared back then, but like not now. I don't really give a fuck. I'm not gonna lie. Really? Well, as long as like he's just someone on time, or like anyone, someone on time. Just not I'm like not, thirty minutes. Yeah, just not like if you're 30, ten minutes late. Yeah, because like the thing with Brandon, I'm pretty sure like from what I remember, it was like thirty minutes, and then like he wanted to shoot bots, and then like it would just throw the flow. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just like because we're there, we're ready to play. Yeah, because I was always here. Like we 12. shot the bots already. No, yeah, exactly. So it's like, like I'm trying to script. Yeah. So that was one thing. I mean, I I cared just a little bit, nothing too crazy. It was more of like the way that the way <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to like I know it's a tough one. I'm trying to like remember the shit that like he would do. I can't really remember in Vanguard. I it was like he, so. I, I mean, I'll speak on it a little bit, but like when one thing would go wrong, it would like everything. Oh, actually, yeah. When yeah, one not, thing would go wrong yeah, in a yeah, scrim, yeah, yeah. it would be like the yeah, whole yeah, scrim no, that, would that, be that, just hell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah. That that's what I remember actually. That was the biggest thing. It was when we had practice, and then like, obviously everyone's just like trying to go hard, and like, he would set up the like we would just lose or something like that, and it would almost feel as if like we lost a match, and like, that would kind of just, just like make me feel weird, just because like now I wouldn't be doing as confident plays as like I would as if it was a first map of a scrim. Yeah. Because of the fact that like we're losing, uh, but I I look at losing as learning. And like, especially in scrims, who like, yeah, who exactly. cares? Like, obviously, like, you want to win your match. Yeah, if we could like learn something off the, the what they're doing, then like just copy them. Simple as that. Copy paste, and that's the one thing that like he, yeah, he he just didn't, didn't like losing, and like it would set up the vibe. I mean, he, he would get quiet. He would be and quiet, then and then we could just. just <laughs> I'm a, I, in practice. I was always trying to be like, like no, yeah, yo, yeah. what the fuck? Like, why yeah. we why we vibe killed? Like, yeah, we yeah, lost yeah. a fucking scrim. Like, no, yeah, and that's the, that's the one thing that I hated the most, and I'm pretty sure we, like we brought up. I can't remember. That year, like, I'm really bad at my memory, but, like, from what I remember, I'm pretty sure we tried to, like, 
talk to him about it? Or yeah, no, like we that? did multiple multiple times. We had multiple conversations. Like, yo, like we gotta we gotta lock this shit in. Like, yeah, our yeah. practice is taking a hit. It's affecting our placings. Like, we're just not confident. Like, again, like practice is everything. Going into an event, if you're not prepared, it's gonna show. Like, you're gonna seem uncomfortable yeah. on the map. You're gonna make bad plays. You're not gonna make confident plays. Like, yeah. it just it just it's like a a, a domino effect on like just how your team is. Yeah, yeah. And one thing that I remember actually now that like this question is was major I forgot what major. It was a New York one. A New York one. Major we got there four. something like that. It was when Ender was like back, I'm pretty sure. Like he was like we thought he was back. back. Yeah, <laughs> we thought he was back. So we warmed up on like you know you warm up Wednesday if you have like two sets and then uh you do like the testing on land or whatever to test yeah. your earbuds and stuff like that. And we had a really really shitty scrim. But the way that like his entire vibe off that scrim was like so negative. Like we were losing maps and it was like, holy fuck, we were like literally dog shit. Yeah. That's like the vibe that I was getting off of. And then that like kind of rolled into the tournament. That kind of, yeah, they roll, it like steamrolled into the tournament. But that's one thing that like Brandon is that he's such a competitor. At least like back then he didn't really understand. Like he was just so locked in the game where like he didn't really understand the, like what he was feeding off his energy into like the teammates. Yeah. Cause like, us three, we're tweaking. We're like, holy fucking shit. He's tweaking. He's obviously got like, gotta fix this. Yeah, we gotta fucking fix this shit. But in his head, it's like, yo, like, my, like, what the fuck are we doing? But in our head, we're like second guessing our plays and stuff like that. And that's one thing that like, it was just so uncomfortable because like being on that environment, when you're, especially, I mean, I mean, it sucks. Uh, it, it, it's everyone's just, like, it's impossible. On edge. Nobody. It's like it just. It feels like there's no like common goal trying to be reached because it's like, does he fucking hate me? <laughs> yeah, that, that, <laughs> like, Yo, I'm does like, does, does this guy hate me? Like, like, if I make a bad play, is he like judging? Like, is he like in his head? Like, holy shit, oh, yeah, this yeah, guy's yeah. horrible. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it was it was just dude the Vanguard year into like the MW2 year. It was just like, but the whole Brandon thing. Like, yeah, that's one thing is that he Brandon just, just wants to win and he will do whatever he wants to do to win. And I I respect that for him. The only thing that yeah, it was more of just like. He just didn't understand what he was. It was doing a communication team. thing. Yeah, it was like he didn't realize, like how it was affecting us. And then we brought it up to him, and it like got better for a little bit, and then it like got bad again. But it was like it was just we just couldn't like lock in, like the team. I mean, really, the team vibe. It was like oh, yeah, it was the team vibe of all of us trying to get better, like collectively. It was like we just couldn't get that together. Yeah. And again, it, there. I mean, there was so much shit that went hap- that went wrong that year. But now he's like great, right? No, now he's good. Now he's he's literally <laughs> he's definitely. I feel like it's his peak, like the peak he's ever been as like a teammate. Uh, I mean, even individually, he's been doing amazing. So that's one thing. I, I mean, I he's always been amazing individually. That's yeah. He's always been. And the only like, thing that he's done different from like what the Vanguard to now is just like he doesn't do that anymore. In terms of like, if we lose a map, he was always like he's trying to figure out ways that we can yeah. you, you know up our level or trying to figure just he's always just trying to level up essentially and that's one thing that i personally didn't think he was doing back then to what he's personally doing now so yeah that's that's something that shouts out big brucey man good shit man i like that all right so we've been getting real serious uh in this interview this one's a little bit of a trollier one it's it's saturday night tomorrow you know you're in the final of champs sunday if you could pick one person to come to your hotel room and give you a motivational speech <laughs> to get prepared for Sunday, who would you pick and why? Uh, I'd say David Goggins for sure. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. He'll have you running through a wall. <laughs> he not exactly. Literally. He not literally. I feel like, yeah, just David Goggins, just because, like, his whole way that he looks at, like, just the human body, essentially, I mean... Yeah. Like I mean, the stress and just like how to handle. How, just how to handle mentally, like anything you're going through. Like, I don't know. Just the way, just the stuff that he says about your mind. It, that's, I just would want him to just fucking some, say some insane shit. I'm not going to lie. That's the last person. I thought you were really? going to say like Damon, fucking like <laughs> David Goggins. Nah, David Goggins. Nah. I mean, it's a great pick. Like he'll have you fucking gas for you, sure. I promise you. Yeah. I'll fucking wake up at five, do 10 miles, fucking go into the stage, fucking start running around. I don't know. I'll do some insane shit, but David Goggins, David Goggins for you guys. I know you fucking know. All right. So you basically now have the keys to the kingdom of like roster decisions. I mean, you, 
obviously it's a team decision at the end of the day, but your voice is the most prominent in those team decisions. So whenever it was during the off season, you guys were obviously looking at who your force going to be. Yeah. Uh, Draza was in the hat. Uh, obviously Kenny's in the hat. Was there anybody else in the hat? Uh, Draz was guaranteed for sure in the hat. Um, nah, I don't think so. It was just Draz or Ken? I'm almost probably, well, Scrap was like there in terms of like, I don't know, because the whole Toronto thing happened and I'm pretty sure like. Is he, wasn't he still under contract though? Like, yeah, we, no, he was under buyout? contract, but Toronto was having some weird thing where like they were letting them expand, like, ex, like explore options. Remember that? They were letting them explore options. So like that explore was. Explore options. Yeah, yeah exactly. Explore yeah, options. We want half a million dollars. <laughs> and we still might not let him walk. Exactly. That's like an AG situation. Nah, so, yeah, there was like the the main three. Scrap was like a, a thought. I don't think anyone like people just knew that he couldn't even join or something like that. So like yeah. I didn't even bother with that. And then yeah, it was mainly just it was Zach. I want to team with Zach a lot just because his like the way that he I play against him and like I just know that one he's if I was a flex player I'd play exactly like him in terms of. Just being aids on the map, doing exactly like. I feel like Zach knows how to get carried. If that does that even make sense? Like Zach knows. He's just sitting there delusional, just Zach, gassing. Zach will like look at the map and just be like, "All right, bet." Like I, I know exactly what play I need to make to like basically the best win con scenario. See, I feel like draws. Obviously, yeah, he's he makes great plays in terms of winning, but like I feel like that delusional, the delusionality that he brings to the team, like That's I mean, true. you see with Faze, <laughs> like. So, I mean, I've, I don't think I've ever heard Simp really talk shit. He's talking <laughs> shit to people. Like, oh, yeah. sell him shooting bodies mid-rotation. Like, they just, like, don't give a fuck. Yeah. But I don't really want to talk about, like, draws. Obviously, like, that doesn't pan out. Yeah, he goes yeah. to phase. Yeah, that pans Yeah, he goes to phase. So we so get... we talk that. So, but, but we got Ken. Yeah, so talk to me about just Ken. Just how, like, your mind was at that moment when you knew it was Ken. And how, like, that's kind of developed throughout the entire year. Because now he's, like beloved by the by the optic fan base yeah, and I'm yeah. assuming by you as well <laughs> no yeah ken yeah so i remember all i remember was ken dm me saying like yo like uh, i don't know what he said exactly but basically like yo i'm available or some shit and i'm like all right bet like we'll keep you in the loops because right now we're trying to figure some shit out and then uh yeah so then once we knew zach was officially like on phase we're like all right bet like i want ken because ken it fits the role he wanted to play ar that was the main thing like i'm pretty sure last year he was a sub player Mm -hmm. and he wanted to play a flex, and I was like, yo, bet, that's literally what we need. And I feel like just the way Ken, the way that everyone talks about Ken, at least from, like, what I knew, was just, like, he's smart as fuck, and he just shoots. Simple as that. And that's one thing that we needed. Because uh, I feel like Brandon, like, Brandon, Brandon's, like, an underrated, like, fucking, he's, like, an yeah, underrated yeah. king of the hill. Like, he yeah. loves being in the hill, uh, and he shoots, like, straight as fuck, and he gets kills. So, like, having that Brandon on the main, and just playing like more of a slower and kind of just like facilitating. And then having Ken literally just fucking challenge everything and basically calling out like the UAV, it, it, everything just worked out in its favor. So, uh, but yeah, I didn't know Ken was like this impactful on a team, if that makes sense. Yeah. So that's, that's definitely really good. Like through my career, people would always be like, what do you want to be remembered as? How do you want your career to be remembered? When you get asked that question, how do you want Shotzi's legacy to look when it's all said and done at the end? Uh, I'd say just try to look at the game in a different direction or a different way. I feel like that's one thing that like, I go into games just trying to figure out, you know, how to break the system. How to break that shit. How to figure out like how to get, how far I can go outside the map and just get like, you know, just a little stuff like that. Can I super bounce? Fucking yeah, can I fucking do, can I, use hybrid and losing yeah. a league match just, just try to figure the, the the game outside the you know and i'd say just a person just trying to have fun playing video games and you know it's not all about just winning all the time so i mean obviously it is but see that's kind of similar to my answer my answer was to be like i mean it sounds corny but like be like a, a beacon of light in the community like yeah always just try to be happy like try to put on your best face like just try to have fun with it and just be like, just enjoy it for what it is. Cause it's really easy to get lost, like in the fucking, in the mix. It is, it is, like, it's right. easy Especially to lose your head that. and like, <laughs> just always try to stay level headed and, and have fun. So that's pretty similar. So I asked AG this yesterday. Uh, obviously the last optic champs win was IW. It was the first, the dynasty, the only. What would it mean to you to bring home the second ring for optic 
and yourself. This is your second ring, too, if you get it. It'd be amazing, just because that's like the the last thing that I need to do <laughs> to complete the optic. You got the list. online one. Yeah, we got or no, 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 I meant like optic in general. Like optic as an organized organization, like oh, you've I done have, everything. I yeah. thought you meant for yourself. I got the major win. I seen the champs, and that'll be like the, the my two main bucket challenges or whatever the fuck for optic. They, yeah, just because well, like yeah, I just want to win it for the green wall, just because like they obviously so so much support. They're always they're just going crazy. Uh, they're they're always. Fucking at 3 a.m. just sleeping on bean bags, trying to get the first one <laughs> in. So yeah, just getting one for the green wall would definitely be cool as fuck, especially since the last one was what 2018, so. 2017, something like that. So I feel like it'd be really cool for sure. How do you think Optic Call of Duty has done without you? Honestly, again, everything that like I could have wished that the team like became or could become, it's become. Like I feel like, yeah, it sucks to retire. Um, but like even like last year, like you guys, you handled it like so well with just how you kind of navigated that whole situation. Cause like, yeah, it was a hard situation. I mean, I'm fucking on the team. I'm off the team. <laughs> Kyler's on the team. We were dealing with all those all those problems with Ender during the off season and and trying to figure out who our team was gonna be going into MW two. So for you to like navigate it like that. Brandon comes back in. It seems like he got his head back on his shoulders. It's everything that I could have wanted it to be. Because, again, I didn't want to leave the team in a bad situation. No, yeah, of course. And I feel like it could have went bad. I mean, obviously, it could have went bad. Like, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, shit could have fell apart. Yeah. But you guys strapped in. I mean, yeah, we didn't get a win last year. But you guys were fighting, like, fighting. Like, you got second twice, right? Yeah. Got second like twice. Like, you guys were out there trying and you picked up good talent. You picked up Dan, yeah. like to be able to find that talent um, and just make it mesh and make it work. And then now like you obviously have like your super team, you got fucking AG and Kenny and, and Brandon, <laughs> Brandon's still on the team. It's like everything that I could have hoped happened, like happened. You guys got to win this year and you guys honestly have looked incredible. So I mean, I said it said it yesterday. I want you guys to fucking win. I want you to win it all. Because when COD's winning, it makes... When Optic's winning. Or Optic COD, yeah, sorry. <laughs> when Optic COD is winning, it just makes the whole org, like the whole org dynamic just so much better. Everyone's happy. Um, it just brings everyone closer together. And obviously, like, there were a few rocky years in there. Um, I mean, I see, we say rocky years, but, like, we still won in Vanguard. Just, just little speed bumps. Yeah, we still won in Vanguard. Last year was tough just because of everything that happened. Uh, but this year, it seems like you guys finally have that winning formula to, to be able to go out and do it. So, I mean, I'm just proud of you, man. Seriously. Optics back. Optics back. Seriously, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of Brandon. Um, and I hope you guys get it. How many days we got till champs? Till champs? Shit. 40. Yeah, 40 something. We're coming for you. Or whatever the fuck you came with. Oh, that one, actually. My fucking boy. Go get him.